Hey everyone, welcome back. So a while ago we have raised an issue because we had an import problem. We were writing a .ts file, but when we were importing with .ts extension, it was failing. And for that we have reported a bug. So the issue was whenever we, we were importing these page class .ts file, you had to add .js because without that we were getting error. And this is the bug we have reported in WebDriver.io. And if you see, there is a reply here for the issue so it says it's not actually a bug but the way we have the basic setup was done was not correct so we have to make few changes here based on the suggestion so let's read it through in ts config file change the model es next to target es next so in the ts config file we have this es next is module instead of that it will be a target es next and this target needs to be removed Okay, so let's remove this target and add target as a yes next. Then in package.json, remove type module. So in package.json, there is something called type. This also was created by default when we're setting it up. So let's change that as well. Now, if you go to our page classes, wherever we are importing. So first is, there are fun in page class also, we are importing another page. Here, .js. Let's remove this .js then in source login page also remove that dot js don't have any in this also remove dot js and then let's check in the test cases here dot js then we don't have example e to e we don't have here dot js we'll come to this error as well dot js so we have removed all dot js now when you run it should work but there is an error we have covered a video where we were, i have explained how to read a json file you know from the as a test data source and use that in your test and because we got error we have added this as a solution but as we are using now target as a es next module es next target we don't need this anymore so we have to remove this as well and we can import our JSON data in very normal how we used to import any name from and the path of the JSON file. That's it. So these are the changes that you have to do. Now let's try to run and see whether our all tests are working fine or not. So I'm simply going to say npm run wdio. And if you see here, all five workers started, all tests are running parallelly just trying to execute and finish all the tests loading icon and if you see five passed five total so we had a one two three four five test cases total five tests five spec file and it has passed right so yeah it was not actually a bug but the way basic setup was done automatically from the web driver IO, right so we had to go through this change now what we have to do is now we know the fix and we can work on it but let's suggest in this issue itself what was the basic ts config file file was created let's add in the comment and let's make sure someone put a fix that instead of we going manually and changing these changes by default when you are doing the setup itself we get this updated so let's let's add the comment so i have added my comment here okay just saying that this issue has whatever was solution was provided is have worked and it is good that these all the changes that we have done here manually that means adding target as a yes next removing target and from the package.json removing the module that should be part of the initial setup itself so i'm just adding my comment and leaving it here and hopefully in the later version when we are you know like when you're watching this video in later time you may have already this fix implemented and you don't have to do this change manually which i have done now so yeah, just wanted to show you this quick fix and this is working fine now. We don't have to add any extension when we are importing. Also, just keep in mind, I've already covered the how to read the data from the test data from the JSON file and we don't have to add as a type JSON. So this is going to work as usual. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much.